Hi all, I have another amazing game of leaders show you today against Houdini 6.303. This is in the Chesscon Blitz battle, five minutes with a two second increment, 2018. Let's have a look. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3. And now the slightly unusual h6 is played. Uh, so more usual here is d5. So h6. Knight c3, we have a Nimzo engine with bishop d2 now, avoiding any structural damage. Yeah, black often threatening uh, to structure, the, the structure would be compromised. But bishop d2 looks a little bit on the artificial side. But anyway, let's see. After black castles, leader has a little surprise in store in this position even. Which uh, other, en other engines don't really seem to prompt immediately anyway. What would you play with white? In this position, if I give you five seconds to pause the video, okay, g4, yeah, trying to wrench open that g file, and there's a lovely target here to peel open. That h6 pawn uh, is a good line opener potentially. We have bishop takes c3 in this position. Uh, the alternative, let's have a look at knight takes g4. A common rule, generalized a generalized rule is you shouldn't take pawns in front of your king. So here, for example, rook g1 does lead black into concretely quite a lot of trouble. Say this continuation where we can sack another pawn and then start the attack and even don't have to take the exchange. Just carry on attacking, attacking, attacking here. And this is mega dangerous for black. This is a zap continuation. The black king gets uh, checkmated here. Uh, that's just an example of the horror of knight takes g4. So we have bishop takes c3, b takes knight e4, and now g5. So opening up the g file anyway by force. And this is something uh, Leela does. It's it's amazing, uh, almost like great optimism that this will work. But it really does activate the pieces. So hg, we can, we can say that this is a guaranteed activation of this rook. So if this pawn sack didn't occur, yeah, there wouldn't be so many problems for, for black to face here. And it seems f6, is that solid enough here? h4, we have g4, just giving up uh, that pawn. Rook takes d5, rook g1, now knight c6, h5. So ideas of h6 now. We have queen e8. Now not h6 in this position actually, but bishop h6 which interrupts the queen from h5. So rook f7 protecting g7. Knight h4, as if there's a celebration of these light squares now. Knight takes c3. Maybe Leela didn't really care about that. It was a double pawn anyway. Queen d3, knight e4. And the bishop comes to g2 to hit e4. Knight goes back. C takes. Knight e7. Yeah, this is a very interesting position to analyze. For example, e takes, bishop takes, this position, there could be a very dangerous bishop takes g7 here. For example, like this is extremely dangerous, so much so it's checkmate in that line as an example. So knight e7 is played, bishop drops back, and this helps actually get control uh, of the light squares a bit more with bishop takes d6. When Lena gives up a dark square bishop, uh, she's got fireworks usually planned on the light squares. C takes. We have bishop f3, so that holds that pawn on h5. Queen a4. We have rook b1, rook b8, queen d2, king h8. Uh, just to show some of the dangers here, let's try and illustrate some of the dangers. If the king didn't get out of the way, then actually, say a6 is a token move. H6, this is just incredibly powerful attack here. Even with a rook sack, it's it's working out very well for white off the rook b3. So with that rook left, this is really quite crushing. And the form pawn, of course. Uh, so this would black would have to give up the queen. It would be terrible. So king gets out of the way because now it seems uh, rook b3 was played here. If h6, it seems as though g5 and this isn't so bad. Uh, for black. So rook b3, bishop f5. Uh, there's ideas of knight g6 check uh, in this position, just to put that on the board as well, just to illustrate. 
if b5 knight g6 check if we get a form pawn there then that's really dangerous for the h file this is an example which is crushing which uh <laughs> that would be a desperate move to stave off the, the inevitable checkmate here with the form pawn covering the escape square so bishop f5 tries to address the g6 issue not leaving a form pawn on g6 at least uh bishop takes d5 though knight takes knight takes queen d7 the rook comes to protect the knight rook c8 the king steps to f1 queen c6 rook g6 as though h6 is more supported now knight e7 we have queen d3 offering uh the chance of a form pawn for an exchange set that'd be far too dangerous for black to accept that uh there's just clear mating patterns available if that's taken we have queen d5 instead knight takes rook takes h6 undermining black's pawn structure now if we take stock here one two three four five one two three four five equal on pawns but it's the undermining of the black pawns here which give white a big advantage hg and now queen f5 yeah black didn't take on g7 but this end game we're going to transition to now is very nice because leela has these center pawns there's a, there's a three to one basically against black's center pawn okay there's a two to one over here but which is more significant let's have a look rook c6 we have d5 rook a6 e4 rook takes rook takes here and the rook goes to the center rook a4 the king comes up and comes up again and this is starting to look like a fantastic position after e5 check check the king is really aggressive here d takes d6 and now Leela is getting basically an ideal position with the king in opposition and the rook coming for very dangerous mating threats potentially so here threatening check and then d7 so the rook's pacified and now rook on the seventh controlling a lot of things and now leader is going to cash out here a bit or rather grab some pawns so a4 yep it's uh taking pawns time this is just a technically winning position now here so this is absolutely winning technically Lula doesn't care about the f pawn being taken uh so here rook h4 a bit of playfulness in this position <laughs> um I guess there might be some stalemate tricks actually on on queening um or not really <laughs> the queen could have been a queen could have happened but no Lula is now in trolling mode with rook h4 <laughs> we have rook g2 down the, the pawn queens rook g1 and gives up the queen because this is to toe to from a table based perspective it simplifies further and it's a totally winning position anyway on taking so yeah Leela's in officially uh the trolling mode uh that is taken there's no stalemate and now this pawn is is uh it <laughs> is rooked the pawn is rooked not queened okay and uh now the queen has given up yeah for an even simpler table base win possession so uh a bit of entertainment from Leela at the end of this game so uh check mate so yeah that was a fun game uh there i thought to share with you i hope you enjoyed it as much as me uh so lila shown some great attacking style there with the early g4 which h6 to be fair kind of asked for a little bit but lira is certainly the engine to to give uh the punishment for that in direct fashion so if you enjoyed this game video then please click the top left box uh, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net to play against other youtubers you can also check out all the analysis in advance for these videos on the improved menu learn from the masters okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much